All right, welcome everyone. This is Danny Brown. This is day one, English 1C, video two. Now we will study the grammar, there is, there are, and we will study prepositions of place. Remember preposition, zenchishi. These are prepositions of place. And this is very important, and you'll practice for homework today, and you'll do some speaking practice next week. Now, let's go to a PowerPoint that I've created so we can study this. All right, we have there is and there are. Now, this is fairly simple grammar, so I'll do this very fast. Japanese has hito ga imas. Hito is subject, ga uh, imas is verb, but this is not possible in English to only say hito ga imas. There is, we have to use the word there. There is a man. Now, there becomes the subject, and man becomes the C, the complement. There doesn't mean anything, okay? It doesn't mean asokoni. It does not. It is a grammar word used to fill the position, there is a man. Now, we can say there is or there are. There is a man is singular. A man is singular. There is a man. There are three dogs. Dogs is plural. Okay, Fukushimashi. And so there is or there are. Now, there is also count and non count. Count is kasan meishi. Non count is fukasan meishi. So be careful. Count. There is a man, singular. There are three men, plural. That's always true for is or are, but non-count uses is, always is. There is some water, that's fukasan. So for non-count, please use is. Next, what about these? What would you say? There is mm, some water, what would you say? There is some water. There, mm, no dog in the picture. Whoops, there's the answers. There is no dog in the picture. There, mm, no dogs. Answer, there are no dogs. There, mm, not any water. Okay, water is no count, so it's is. There is not any water. There, mm, not any dogs. Okay, there are not any dogs. Here's your answers. There is, there are, there is, there are. All right. Now, we can also make questions. There is some water. If we want to make a yes, no question, yes, no question means uh, the answer is yes or no. Okay, there is some water. Is there some water? Yes. Is there some water? No. Okay, that's a yes, no question. So we take the word is, we cut it, and we move it to here. Okay, is there some water? There is no dog in the picture. Can you make a question? Is there no dog in the picture? There are no dogs in the picture. Question? Are there no dogs in the picture? There is not any water. Question? Is there not any water? Now for these knots, you can always say isn't, and then cut not. Isn't there any water? That would be okay. There are not any dogs in the picture. Question? Are there not any dogs in the picture? Or you can say, aren't there any dogs in the picture? All right. Now we're going to study prepositions of place. But first, I want to show you a handout before we do any more from this PowerPoint. Okay, I want you to go to Google Classroom. I think maybe you already did. And get this file, Day 1 Prepositions Handout, a PDF file. And I want you to study this with me. Now, I'm going to show you uh, a circle, just a minute. 
I'm going to show you a circle and a square. And I'm going to use this because this is very much like your handout. Please watch the video because you're going to learn more. If you see me moving and talking, you're going to remember more. So please watch this video. Then you can review that paper that I gave you. All right. Now, these are prepositions of place. The word preposition is zentishi. And so it's a preposition of place. And when we tell where is something, we can use these. For example, this is a circle. Circle. Don't say sakuru. It's not sakuru. It's circle. Circle. All right. This is an X. Now, I can put the circle here and I can say the circle is on the right. Now, on the right is inside the circle. Okay. Later, we're going to study outside the circle. That's to the, I'm sorry, left, to the left, to the left of. This is on the left. Okay. I hope your video looks right. Is this on the left for you? Okay, on the left. So the circle is on the left. Now I can say the X is on the right. Can you remember that? The X is on the left. The X is on the right. The X is where? At the top. The X is at the bottom. Okay, can you remember? Okay, I want you to try to say it. Where's the X? The X is on the right. The X is on the left. The X is at the top. The X is at the bottom. Okay, now, here, put it here. Where is the X? The X is in the middle. We can say of the circle. The X is in the middle of the circle, but we don't need to. The X is in the middle. Okay, so we have the X is on the left, the X is on the right, the X is in the middle, the X is at the bottom, the X is at the top. Very good. Now, these are all inside the circle, all inside. Let me move this camera here. These are all inside the circle, okay? On the left, on the right, at the top, at the bottom, in the middle. Now, we're gonna study outside of the circle, and this is very important. The X is to the left of the circle. That's five words. To the left of the, oh, six words. Circle. To the left of the circle. That's six words. I'm sorry, you have to remember that. The X is to the left of the circle. The X is to the right of the circle. Can you say that? The X is to the left of the circle. The X is to the right of the circle. Okay. Where's the X? The X is on the left. The X is on the right. The X is to the left of the circle. The X is to the right of the circle, okay? The X is at the top. The X is at the bottom. Now, where is the X? Okay, look on your paper. The X is over the circle. Now, if it's over, it's like over, but if it's touching, that's on. Sometimes we say on top of. What does our paper say? Our paper says on top of, okay. On top of the circle over the circle. The X is over the circle. The X is on top of the circle. The X is over the circle. The X is on top of the circle. Now, where's the X? The X is under the circle, okay? There's no touching. It doesn't touch. The X is under the circle. Now, can you say it, class? Please follow me. Ready? Where is the X? On the left. On the right, at the top, at the bottom, in the middle, 
the x is to the left of the circle, to the right of the circle, over the circle, on top of the circle, under the circle. Can you remember? Okay, I hope you can remember. If this is difficult for you, please study this. Repeat it by speaking at home and you'll remember it better. All right, now, this is very important and you're gonna use this today and next week. And it's gonna be on your test. So please study this. And we're gonna look at a um, PowerPoint now. Okay, this is prepositions practice. And I want you to watch me and listen to me. You'll remember the English better if you listen. Don't turn off the video. All right, here's a picture. Now, there is a barber shop on the left. Okay, I want you to repeat this by speaking and you're gonna remember it. And you need this practice speaking. Okay, do you see the barbershop on the left? Do you see it's on, the X is on the left. The barbershop is on the left. The sun is over the barbershop on, see it's, it's, it's inside the barbershop, but it's over the barbershop on the left. Can you see that? Over the barbershop on the left. Okay. Next, we have uh, the word A. I want you to look at this. There is a barbershop on the left. The sun is over the barbershop on the left. Why A and the? Okay. A means one. The means this. The first time you use a noun, like barbershop, you use A. A barbershop. But the second or third time you use the same noun, you use the, the barbershop. So the first time it's, there is a barbershop. And after that, you say the barbershop, the barbershop, because it, the means this, this barbershop, this barbershop. Okay. Now, next, there is a tree to the right of the barbershop. Now notice, I can say the tree is on the right, it means uh, okay? Or I can say the tree is to the right of the barbershop. Barbershop no migigawa ni, migiga, migi ni, excuse me. Barbershop no migi ni. Okay, so be careful. They're very close, but they're not the same. There is a tree to the right of the barbershop. There is a bird above the tree. See the bird? Okay. It is flying above the tree. Now we're gonna cut, it is flying, and we're gonna put it together. There is a bird, excuse me, flying above the tree. There is a bird flying above the tree. Now, the bird is facing right. Facing right, means toriwa uh, migi muki desu, okay? So facing, facing right. Now notice, I can say, Danny is facing right, Danny is facing left, or Danny is facing straight, okay? Danny's facing straight. You can also say me, you can say, Danny is facing me. That's okay. Danny's facing straight. Danny's facing me. They're both okay. Let's go back to our PowerPoint. Now, the bird is facing right. There is a little table under the tree. Do you see the table? Here's the tree, and under the tree, there's a little table. All right. Now, let's look at the same picture again. Okay, the next slide here. And I want you to try to say all the sentences again from your memory. For example, there is a barber shop on the left. Okay, can you do that? Okay, try that. Uh, you can go back to the beginning on this PowerPoint. I'm giving you the PowerPoint. And I want you to try to memorize this, okay? Try to memorize every sentence until you can say the whole story and then you can speak it very well, all right? That's very important.
because next week we're going to do speaking practice and you'll have a different picture and you have to describe your picture using this English. All right. Now we're finished uh, today, except you need to do um, two things. One, uh, I'm going to describe a picture right now. And you need to go to Google Classroom and get that. Okay, go to Google Classroom and look at the file called day one draw picture okay and i want you to get a pen and an a4 paper any a4 paper is okay and i want you to listen to me now and i want you to draw a picture then i want you to take a picture of that drawing that you made now and send that to me by google mail by Google Classroom. Send it today. All right. Okay. Here it is. Get a uh, get up a four piece of paper right now and listen to Danny as I describe this. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Are you ready? All right. Please draw this really big. Draw it big on an A4 paper. If you draw very little, you won't have enough space to draw. So draw big. All right. Ready? There is a man sitting in the middle of the room. He is sitting in a chair facing straight. Okay, everybody get your pen and draw a picture of a man sitting in the middle of a room and he's sitting in a chair and he's facing straight. Okay, draw that. To the left of the chair, there is a small table. There is a glass on top of the table on the right. Under the chair, a cat is sleeping. A mouse is sitting on top of the cat's head. Also in this room, on the right, a fat woman is standing. Over her head is a clock. It is 6.15. Okay, if you need, you can listen to this video again. Please draw that picture. Send it to Danny. I'm going to check if you're correct. If you're totally correct, you get 100%. If you have mistakes in your picture, then you get minus points. Remember, you don't need to write the words. You just need to draw the picture. All right, uh, now that you've done that, I want you to do your homework. Your homework is chapter 38 in your uh, book. Here we go. We've got our, um, just a second here. We've got our Cambridge book, and so I want you to do chapter 38. Now, for chapter 38, please study the page, do all the questions, okay? And then, in the back of your book, you should have a textbook, you will find the answers, and you can check your answers. I will send you the answers in case you can't find them, okay? All right, and then next week, I will give you a quiz. I will not take this homework by Google Classroom. I will not. But I want you to be ready for a quiz next week over Chapter 38. All right, we're finished for today. Welcome to my class, everyone. Have a very nice week. May God bless you all week. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.